Hi everyone, I'm really excited to film this Q&A today and um, it's been a long time that I've been super active on YouTube but that's gonna change and I thought what not what better way to do that with a Q&A so I have why am I out of the breath? I have written your questions in my planner since obviously I'm filming with my iPhone and I don't have my questions other what is wrong with me i don't have my questions on screen but i will put the questions in the video and um i always cut the name out so it's going to be anonymously in case you ever want to ask a question i will not put you on blast and yeah let's start ask my questions on my instagram so if you are interested in following me please make sure you follow me on instagram as well and also on tiktok because i'm like a lot more active there when it comes to fashion and stuff and i like post like everyday things and i've really enjoyed tiktok it's a platform where i really am extremely creative and i like to share just random stuff so i would love for you to follow me there but yeah i'm gonna just start um randomly um with the questions here and yeah i just have my iced coffee in handy how is life as a wife well i have to be honest i'm loving it i love being a wife i always loved being a fiance a girlfriend i love being in a relationship with my husband of course but i love being a wife i think um it's beautiful um i understand that not everyone eh, that's part of the plan um but i really love it and i do definitely think that there's a change in how you feel it's a little bit more official and it's just nice being a wife i absolutely love it and um i definitely enjoy it to the fullest and i also really love wearing my rings together now um it was actually so hard cho choosing a ring that went with my engagement ring but i ended up going with a i don't know if i can show you like this a ring that just like flatters my engagement ring um i love being a wife so i can highly recommend it <laughs> obviously if you find the right partner and if it's on your plans like obviously it's not in everyone's plans and you know you do what you do um then let's get to the next question other perfume reviewers picked up on your i feel oh my sorry i feel like other perfume reviewers picked up on your fragrance review review and don't really credit you well the thing is like i cannot really say that because you know there's so many people that love perfumes and it's highly possible that we love the same fragrances and i will never like accuse someone of like copying a recommendation and i'm not really like that i don't really look at other people's videos and be like oh that's what they got for me not at all honestly if they find a fragrance is based on my recommendations that they love that's amazing um of course like if i get inspired and i find a fragrance through someone else i always credit them because i know like you know sometimes you spend hours smelling fragrances and it's not a lot that i find a fragrance amazing but um i honestly don't really get I don't really think about it that way it's just possible that they like the same fragrance and sometimes it's also a chain effect you know like sometimes sometimes can see a fragrance that you show and then this person may be not crediting you and then this another person seeing it from this person so they probably don't really do it on purpose but i have to say that like, there's a wonderful there's been wonderful people that have been crediting me um for certain fragrances that they that they saw based on my recommendations and i always appreciate that but i don't really i'm not like that i don't really care um of course i do it i think it's the right way to do it if you get inspired by someone else because as a creator you know that it takes a long time to create videos and like you know editing and choosing a fragrance so i think it's only fair to do that but if you don't then you shouldn't because you know it's possible that you just picked it up on somewhere or even like maybe you heard it and you don't remember so i'm not getting faced by that i really don't um i don't look left and right in a negative way and feeling i don't have the feeling I mean, sometimes i'm just like in my own little bubble i don't really realize things like that and they also don't do me any good um I don't really care if that's the case and yeah but um next is um painful to wreck this question i'm sorry to say but i didn't understand it but i will try to read it again and then maybe i get it painful to recommend a fragrance and then it gets hyped up and recommended and a lot of people were like Luc turquoise this is actually funny enough uh very related to the other question i like last year 
I've never heard anyone talk about Bleu Turquoise, but I was also new to the fragrance uh, world on YouTube. Um, I've just came across uh, Armani and I love Armani fragrance and I was just smelling it and then I was falling in love with it. And I know that um, Elithia um, got it and she credited me on her video and she has a big channel. So um, there could be other people that saw it. Um, and then obviously there's other people that maybe at the same time saw it. I mean, you just have to think about it this way. The way I go to stores and smell fragrances, other people do it. So it's highly, highly likely that we end up smelling the same fragrances and we like it. Um, and Bleu Turquoise, I've also like, I'm new to TikTok. I don't really post mainly fragrance videos there because I'm like multi-passionate. So it's difficult for me to stay in one subject. Um, but I know that there's a lot of other fragrance creators that talk about this fragrance. So it's crazy, but a fragrance of beauty product can be hyped up so quickly. Um, but I think definitely Bleu Turquoise still remains one of the very rare ones. Maybe you have the feeling that it's like a lot of people wear it, but it's a very um, specific fragrance. Not everyone likes it, you know. Um, but I can only imagine how people felt when it was about when it happened to Bacara Rouge, because um, there's a lot of people that have been wearing this fragrance for years and years, and um, it was not viral. And now that so many people have it, you can smell it everywhere. But at the same time, I feel like Baccarat Rouge is such a beautiful fragrance that doesn't smell like doesn't smell the same on everyone else. So I completely understand the frustration, but that's a little bit of the things um, when it comes to, that's why people sometimes gatekeep things. And I'm not a gatekeeper. I always like to share. I just think that you can wear the same thing and it's completely different on each uh, person. So I don't really, I'm not like, I don't see an interest in gatekeeping, but I think the bigger your pop platform gets, obviously the more you can impact uh, the fact that if a fragrance or a beauty product gets viral. Um, you look like you lost a lot of weight. Um, how did you do it? Well, yes, I actually did since last year. I think I lost around 10 kgs, which is like 20 pounds. Um, so just a disclaimer, if you struggle with eating disorder, this is information that um, is um, regarding uh, weight loss. So if that's triggering for you, I will try to put the note at the time of the next question, because I obviously don't want you to be triggered. Um, but just an example, I I don't think I should say that. Uh, anyways, I said the weight, I was like 67 kgs, which is like, I don't know how much. Um, but yeah, I lost the weight. Um, actually, I think it was multiple factors. I completely changed my lifestyle because it was before my wedding and I wanted to be in great shape gained weight a couple of years ago because you know I just gained weight and I've always really struggled with my weight gain um with my weight since I was a teenager unfortunately I have been dieting since I was like 15 which is very unhealthy I had a really bad relationship with food I want to be honest with you because um I don't I wish like someone would have told me this I was very restrictive I've always felt guilty when eating certain foods there was even years where I didn't eat carbs and I was not I was I was heavier so for me, the goal was not like just lose weight. It was like getting my relationship with food in order and like enjoying food again. And I think I just came to an age where I was like tired of not enjoying food and feeling guilty and especially restricting because restriction also, um, you know, goes into binge eating and then you just end up like eating a lot of food because you are restricting yourself. So I just started a new journey where I was like focusing on feeling great and I cut out um, I am I like follow a whole food plant-based diet like I don't say vegan because vegan is a philosophy um, I'm, I don't follow um, it would not be fair to say that because it's not the case Whole food plant-based food for me is much easier to say because I'm not like putting myself in a box and if I ever really feel like eating a piece of meat I will eat it but it's been now I would say eight nine months i haven't eaten meat i i eat sometimes parmesan parmigiano parmigiano because it's like toast free and the reason why i don't have dairy products is because i'm intolerant but parmigiano is okay and it's the best cheese ever in my opinion so once in a while i have that and then i um also just walked because it was nice weather i made sure that i walk um for me it was important to make a do a sport that i truly enjoy and i enjoy walking i enjoy pilates and i would just do that like once in a while but 
I don't want to go too much into detail because this whole video about like weight loss and like getting into shape and changing your mindset um, could be like 30 minutes long so I'm not going into much detail let me know if you want a video about it um, all I can tell you is that it's very healthy um, I also had some some stress but uh, that maybe had an impact but I think it's mainly that I changed my lifestyle and my vision about food and now I eat whatever I like of course in very like in moderation but I don't most importantly what I wanted to tell you is that um, I don't restrict myself I have a healthy relationship with food and um, the fact that I don't do that I naturally intuitively go towards sometimes more healthier stuff but yeah enough about this topic if you want more videos let me know um what is your perfume must have um well i think my perfume must have it depends on the fragrances that you like i will definitely say good question i probably would say like a great body lotion as well like i love to layer and i love to layer fragrances with a great body light lotion i think it's nice to have a molecular fragrance because i think that they no, sometimes you're a you're anosmic to the fragrance so you don't smell it yourself but i think that they can enhance your fragrance in a really beautiful way uh but i think that's my fragrance must have i don't really tell you you have one fragrance like this one fragrance like this one fragrance like this i think if you compare my approach to fragrance in terms of quantity to some other people i probably would encourage you to have a smaller collection because if you my fragrance must have i would just say like get fragrances that you absolutely adore not just mm, you know what i mean <laughs> your fall selection so um i will make a video on my fall selection for fragrance hopefully after this one um so we will see the video did you did you do any beauty treatments or surgery? No, I haven't actually. I have, the only thing that I've ever done is my top teeth. I have veneers and I have them since five years. Um, I'm really happy I did this. It was like a really big insecurity for me. I was never laughing um, and I decided to get them done, but I got them in Switzerland. I didn't go abroad actually. Um, and I'm really happy I did it. Like it was one of the best decisions. I'm not against per se. Um, I think again, like it's a very individual decision and I would never judge any anyone's decision. Personally, I have obviously also been in a situation where I was not very confident about certain things. And I think being cons like a like consumer, like being a consumer of social media, you can get insecure about certain things, but I would never want to react based on that because that's changing, you know? There are things that you know, you can sometimes be insecure for about a certain period of time because you compare yourself and then I wouldn't act on this certain period of time because chances are you're gonna eventually change again. And I also really like worked on my mindset. Like I really believe like feeling beautiful and being feel beautiful starts here and obviously here, but like you can be the most beautiful person in the world, but if you are convinced that you are not, then you will not feel comfortable. And um, I also think that like, for example, when it comes to beauty treatments, I am 29 now, so I will be 30 next year. I haven't done Botox, Botox yet, um, no fillers, um, just because I am a person like I will, research things like i will not just go like i'm not the person that just be like oh i'm gonna try this treatment no i'm gonna look like what are the side effects like like how much like how many years has this been on the market in order for it to be like great studies because obviously you have to uh, like for me it's like if something has been on the market for 10 years like they don't even know the side effects because there's not been that long on the market and um yeah so i'm just a very careful person in general so i like get scared about things i'm not against it i'm not saying that i will never do it but i just i will go by the mentality if it's not broken don't fix it i will try i mean that's like i you know i understand there's a lot of pressure i obviously have that as well but i try not to surround myself with that kind of pressure if i can choose you know any perfume you regret buying? Oh, I think loads because I think your taste changes um, in clothes, in, in, in your nose as well. Um, 
I used to be extremely obsessed with very very strong fragrances, I still am, I love a strong fragrance, like I need a fragrance that like speaks for itself, I will never want to wear a fragrance that you cannot smell, it bothers me, it gets me agitated <laughs> if I buy a fragrance and I cannot smell it and like it's just so weak, I get annoyed because why did I spend money on it? Um, when it comes to fragrance, I, I still like very strong fragrance, um, but there has been fragrance that I can just not wear anymore, um, but I cannot tell you like on top of my head, just something that's too cloying, too overpowering for me now, I cannot do it anymore, I could do it before, but um, I certainly have a lot of fragrances, I have to be honest, In like if I wouldn't do YouTube and I wouldn't sometimes get fragrances as gifts from brands or like I also have to say the truth at the beginning when I started I used to start with like a lot of pictures and I tell you I will do that again continue to that because I can know about a fragrance and have sampled it and like worn it before but it doesn't mean I have to buy it and I think you know um, recommending fragrance is not only about what you personally like but it's also about what fragrance will fit other people and I got a, a few messages at the start and I wasn't that confident yet about my channel or about like my creative output in terms of fragrance where people would say well you don't even own the fragrances why don't you never show the bottles and now I'm just gonna let you know, I will not never be the person that will have like a wall of fragrances behind me. I love watching those, but it's not me. Like even now I have maybe, I would say, I don't even know how many fragrances, 50 to 100, and it's just too much for me. Like I sometimes forget that I have certain fragrances. And I also feel like having a small collection is what I love. It's the same with my clothes and my makeup. I um, don't like when it's too much, like it gives me a claustrophobic feeling and I love a capsule wardrobe, I love a capsule fragrance and I love to have my favorite products curated and sometimes it requires you to test fragrances and have a few fragrances over the years but ideally if I wouldn't have a YouTube channel I would have maybe 5 or 10 fragrances honestly and of course you can rotate i rotate i also would maybe try to finish certain fragrances before i get new ones but now obviously i get them sent and i bought um, a lot um to show you as well and to try out because that's really fun like ordering fragrances and try it out in front of you but i want to be a little bit more sustainable when it comes to like have fragrances and I, I want to encourage you to do that as well I'm happy when you purchase my recommendations but I would like I would try to treat you like my friends um I just too many things get me claustrophobic how to deal with having no friends I feel lonely well I can completely understand I moved places five years ago and it's been a challenge to like meet new people outside of the fact that you have like maybe a friend group I have a friend group that, that lives, not a friend group, I have a few friends that are very, I'm very close to that are far away. Um, I think you have to sometimes get out of your comfort zone. So I actually, where I lived, I tried to meet friends organically, but it was really difficult because obviously I'm not in an age where I go out and stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with doing that in my age. I would do that as well from time to time, but it's just not my thing like i prefer going to brunch and lunch and stuff than like going out at night i'm tired okay <laughs> um to be honest with you i i i didn't like i it was a struggle i have to be honest and i don't know if you know about switzerland but switzerland is not the easiest place to make friends and i grew up but on the other side of the country and i was not aware of that because obviously i grew up here but um I actually, um, I don't know if you know about Meetup, it's like a web page where you can st like participate in Meetup groups that are specific to topics like dog lovers, book lovers, I don't know, people that love hiking. And I actually created a Meetup group because I didn't find one that I like would love to do. And it's like a lifestyle women's club, like a social club where we meet to socialize, where we go for lunch, where we go for brunch and afternoon tea. And I've met amazing women. I actually couldn't do an event because I was planning my wedding and then there were so many things going on in my life that I didn't have time to do that as well. And so I I actually um, um, planned the event and it was like last Sunday and it was amazing. And um, funny thing is that there was like 20 people coming because you know, I cannot like plan huge events. It's gonna be at a cost of I don't know how. So I was just planning a brunch for 20 people and there's 100 members now 
and I was like not everyone's coming but everyone was there and I was so happy like I was and everyone was amazing they, like the girls were like super cute like everyone was wonderful very interesting women um, and we had so much like great conversations like the energy matched so nice so I cannot wait to see them all again like it was amazing and I, I I was actually so touched because I was like that's amazing like I think that's the way to go like if you want to do that I can highly encourage you to create like do like meetup groups because then you really meet people that have the same interests you know um when you go to an event like a random event then sometimes you talk with someone and maybe you can find them really nice but you might not have the same interests. but like doing this kind of events is like really you meet people that have the same interests. so that was like amazing next questions i have three more questions um how to know if he's the one well that's a really big question and i think that's very individual i don't want to give you too much of a advice because i don't want to um impact you in a way but i can just say what it is for me so for me there's like different factors um of course i think love is very important but i think it's part of it like i think um like a lot of things um that get very romanticized i think relationships do too and i don't think long-term relationships for a are for everyone so um if you're looking for that long-term partner for the rest of your life i think it's a really really big choice you know um because you are planning to spend the rest of your life with this person and you want to have someone that like shares the same values core values like has the same moral standards like has like similar goals than you so you know like when you grow you grow in the right direction um i also think that you know compatibility is like the biggest key and i think knowing that the decision is a huge decision and has a huge impact on your life like this is um eventually the person that is like your immediate family so it's a really big choice and um love is important but it's not enough um, and I think also love is built up, like love evolves and love is a choice and a verb. Like you have to have someone that like does the same effort, like wants to work on the relationship. And I think what also is important that you try to take out the romantic part and look at the person you are with from an objective point of view if you like this person as a person. Because you spend a lot of time with them, <laughs> so you need to like them. And... Um, also, I felt like how a person makes you feel about yourself is a great indicator. Like if you feel like you're never good enough, if you feel like you're not, you know, negative things about yourself, then that's not the great sign. But if you feel like um, you start loving yourself more because of this person and you see yourself in a positive light and it's like an encouraging place to be with this person, then I think that's a really positive place to be. But um, sometimes they, you know, it's very difficult because people say I'm a romantic at heart and I I, I love love and um, I truly believe in it. I truly believe that there's one for everyone. I know not everyone agrees, but that's okay. Um, but I also think it's work, like relationships are work and it's a conscious effort and you have to want to know to have this relationship. By the way, I just cut my hair two months ago and they already grow so fast like I need a cut you know I like got married and had really long hair and I was like I need a new haircut like something that makes me feel like a wifey haircut <laughs> but yeah um this length is I think this length is perfect for me I actually really enjoy this length and I'm gonna have I have an appointment I actually film a, a vlog so you will see it in my vlog then um, the last question is some advice of taking care of your rings and wedding planning. I can give you so many advice on wedding planning. Thank you for asking because otherwise it's only cons like none uh, advice that I give without being asked for and I know a lot of people like that, me myself included, like I don't like advice when I don't ask for it. A video on wedding planning, so I will try to link it below. Um, but I can just tell you if I could go back, I would just take it so much more easier because you plan for a year and it's, there's so much pressure on wedding planning because you have like this, like not everyone, but I think chances are if you get married, you've been thinking about this for a long, long time and you obviously have ideas or like expectations. And so it's, it's really difficult because, um, these expectations are based on your imaginations and not practical things so i would say 
just take it easy honestly you already that like you already have the most important thing which is your partner and that you get married to and like i can just tell you that the day goes by so fast and i think what i would invest in is more like prepper like the things around the day like i am so happy that um we did it in a hotel and um they were so kindly enough to give me an upgrade the, the day before and i spent it by myself i wanted to have the night before my wedding for myself like um i woke up and i felt like a princess i ordered room breakfast and like I, I just really soak up the, the moment of the emotion then I went down uh, and with my amazing friends that I love so much that helped me um, check um, the room they did like the, the obviously the, the venue to see if things are in order and I tried to film TikToks and it was very stressful because I am a person like I always do my makeup and I always like I'm known a little bit around my family that I'm always like over the top so I felt even more pressure because I was like if they always think I'm over the top like on my wedding day I have to be like on the top but um that just made me be so stressed when I did my makeup I was scared that something messes up and I was like I just have to just sit down and just do my makeup it would have been great anyways you know i'm very happy i was very happy with my makeup um, i'm ha very happy with my dress i probably would have gotten a second dress for dancing if i would do it again and um, but other than that it goes by so quickly and honestly even if you have a coordinator like you are coordinating the program so while you can enjoy it um you're still it's your event and obviously you invite people so like it was important for me to check on people like if they like it if everything is good but i ate i danced that's most important um also i would like try to schedule a little bit two moments with your partner because um we did spend a lot of time together but not like immense time but um yeah I think it's really about like um, knowing that it's it's one day, it's really one day and hopefully it's one of your best days but hopefully not the best day because I hope for you that the best days are to come yet. Hello, um, some podcasts, there's a lot of great creators um, like Caroline Crawford I think and um, another girl, um, fun enough they're both Virgos so maybe it's because we're plant tab A but yeah follow them on tiktok they have great advice and um just enjoy your day enjoy your day enjoy the preparatives pre preparation before and i wish you a great wedding day in advance and don't worry about looking great because you're gonna look beautiful that's my tip then when it comes to your rings actually i do have a second pair of set of a similar ring i have one that it's very cheap i got it from aliexpress and i got like the same set of rings for like when i go uh, swimming when i go to the gym sometimes when you go travel and you don't feel like um you want to take your real rings with you i just think it's good so um at the house at, at home i don't wear it when i do like um i don't really wear it when i'm at home because i just want to take care of it it also depends on what kind of ring you have. Do you have like diamonds on it? Do you have like um, a very simple wedding band? Um, so I would just highly recommend you taking care of it um, with trying it. Not like, obviously you need to wear it, but I like at home when you like, for example, wash dishes, don't wear it. And um, also whenever you wash your hands, don't take that out. Don't take them out because the chances are they like you forget them or like they go down the drain are quite high. Um, also, um, I think you can like leave your like for my wedding day, I actually put my rings in like dishwash soap. And I think uh, there's like if you Google how to wash um how to wash your engagement ring or something like that, then there's like a like recipe <laughs> of how to wash them in the right way and um what else yeah and i think a second pair is great if you travel somewhere and you don't want to wear your ring or if you go to the gym and you like lift weights um yeah i mean you're gonna wear your whole life make sure i take care of it so that was the q a i hope you enjoyed it i did actually it was nice i was really i really enjoyed it so if you want me to do more q a's please go overhead to my instagram and so i will try to do them a bit more 
um i also wanted to say like it's been very stressful for me so i haven't been so active over the last i would say six eight months but i will be doing much more things because i really enjoy coming on youtube and having this community built with you i want to like build it more and like be more active and i'm very happy now like um a lot of stress is out of the way i can actually focus a little bit more and i know i said this a few times before but like trust me um i was not in a place where i had more energy to give on something else but yeah i am now filming i'm actually so excited because next like in a few days i'm gonna meet a fellow fragrance content creator and gonna go fragrance shopping and like smelling fragrances and i will take you with me and yeah so if you have any more wishes when it comes to videos or things that you really want to see that uh from me then make sure you comment down below i'm always open to suggestions um and yeah i hope you are great have a great day and i'll see you next time